Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create fillet weld with specified location. It was questioned directly, place it under my video tutorial, so if you have a, another ID for next tutorial, please leave a comment, like video or donate. Thank you very much and continue. So we will start from scratch. I will create some 3D model. For example, Q1 as the plate and I will define the base shape. It's really easy to define because we don't need to focus right now on some dimension. So some approximation dimension are OK and will be something like this. OK, so first plate is definite and this first place we would like to place into assembly. So we will create a new assembly. And in the new assembly, I will place from the memory the model Q1. The first placement will be as the default, because you know that we would like to place as default. And I don't want to see right now the datum planes and datum feature. And we will place the another components. If you will select assemble new component, system will automatically reuse the last one. So you can really easy confirm. And now you can manipulate with Ctrl, Alt and right mouse button, you can move and with Ctrl, Alt and middle button, you can spin. Or if you are a beginner, you can use the dragger. I always use the Ctrl, Alt and right mouse button and middle button for the moving. Yeah. So, OK. Second model we would like to place directly here. So I will select right, right mouse button because I would like to select the bottom surface and then the system allowed to me to select the second one. You can see here that right now my model is oriented and maybe I'd like to set up as the coincident. Again, you can use the Control Alt button to moving for the placement and Control Alt the middle button for the spinning. You can spin again if we want directly with the drag. It's up to you. We will create a new constraint and we will specify, okay, Maybe the another one, so you can use the undo without problem and system allow to you to select the references one more time. So over here it is not only the demonstration how to work with welds, but how to easily manipulate into assembly and constraints. OK, great. So our simple assembly for welding is ready. You can see that we have two components. If you select Control 2, the system will jump and visualize display style. As you need, you can see here the map key Control 2. Yeah. OK, so you can change the better visualization. And now we can see that we have two components in the assembly. Like I mentioned, we would like to create the weld. And the weld will be placed here between these two surfaces. But first of all, go to Annotate tab and check where is how the orientation will be of the, the node, what the system will automatically create. So you can see that my orientation is right now OK. In future, it's possible to change. But it's something like good tips and tricks. If I will jump into application welding, the system allowed to me to create weld material process and preferences. If you do, would like to know more, please check the previous tutorials. Now I'd like to focus on the fillet weld. And if I will create a fillet weld, you know that it's possible to select the first surface. I will show you in the location. The system will so show you the side one. And if you select right mouse button, the system allow to you to select side two, or you can simply click here. What does it mean? Select second reference. And the system will create the necessary fillet weld. Specify the dimension. And today I like to focus finally, yeah, okay, to the how to specify custom location. So you would like to offset it to another placement. So what does it mean? I will finish. I will show you that the system right now correctly create the note because in the annotation tab your reference orientation was definite like it is. Yep, so that's good. Okay, it was only the explanation. But how we would like to go and create 
the some references we have two options so i will move drag here and for example in the assembly i would like to create the reference you can create a point axis or datum plane it's up to you i will specify the point and i will go back that i would like to visualize the fillet weld so you can simply drag and move or you can use the right mouse button and select exit in their mode what does it mean if you will have in the model tree a lot of feature the system automatically jump at the end great so we have a datum reference created here and i'd like to add the definition of the weld and focus on the join so you can see if i will select the join one i can go to the detail tab and at the as the first third point you can choose if you would like to specify the value or you would like the two selected and like i mentioned you can select point plane or axis as the reference point i have created point so i would like to create two selected to select the reference to point and from the other side i'd like to specify the value and for example you can see that again it's possible to use the dragger and you can set the value be careful it's a minus because minus means you would like to inside positive value go outside and if you select the minus 60 the system allow to you the finish feature so i will finish ok of the join and right now you can see that from left hand side i drive my end of the weld by point and from the other side it's definite by dimension so if i feel finish everything is defined and the fillet weld is ready in this video tutorial i have shown you how it's possible to create simple model place it into assembly manipulate into assembly and explain some more information how to work with model tree add some more feature and first and last fillet weld and specified custom length and offset i hope so that you like this video tutorial please leave a comment like a video and buy me a coffee thank you one more time and have a nice good day bye bye Vladimir.